Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a simple desk state. It will be enough for prototyping. Actually, it's the combination of post process which fakes eye blinking. Also, we have to simulate physics on our capsule component. So, actually, we can drop on the side and rotate our camera to fake that we are actually going to die. Now let's take a look how it works. We need to pick our cigarettes. Now let's select them and actually smoke. As you can see, the visual feedback is pretty much great, in my opinion. It can be more attractive, but as for start, the result is actually great. So, let's get started. So, to start with, I have created that material and call it pp underscore des, which goes for post process des. Here, also, I have created the instance of this material so I can easily change the i speed value and whether I need my effect to be grayscale. Just like this. So, as you can see, the logic behind this is pretty much simple. It's lurping between the basic scene color and our effect just by changing the float value of death. Actually, this must be from 0 to 1. So, 0 means no effect, 1 means full impact. And Make sure to change the material domain to post process and the blendable location after tone mapping so the result you achieve won't deform your color correction. Here you can see I have created the static switch parameter so whether I need my effect to be in black and white colors. The default value is false, so basically it's just my scene color, but if it's true, I use post-process input, then I desaturate it, then I use chip contrast to make black and white more heavy, then I'll use the simple operation, I use texture coordinate node, then mask this on the G channel, so I have the gradient from bottom to top, and 1 minus to invert the result. After this, I have to multiply both of them, so I have such type of gradient and the simple debug time sign node. Actually, the result of this logic is taking the eye blinking. It's very cheap and very fast effect. So, by having this, you can actually have some great results.
you can open the back time sign and see that actually there is pretty much simple math. The time node which multiplies by the scalar parameter, then sign. So it goes up and down, up and down. And constant bias scale. So just like this. Now let's take a look at player character customization. In player character, we need to create dynamic material instance of our post process material. So we can manipulate the exposed attributes through our blueprint. And as you can see, I have created it. Also, I promote the result to the variable, so I have the local version of our post process. And as you can see, it's on the event begin play, so we created it only one time. Next, as you remember from the previous episode, in our attributes I have current health variable but with the replication assigned to rep notify. This can be used not only in multiplayer games but in single player too and it's very very simple way to track whether our variable has changed. So when you create a variable and assign a replication to Repnotify, there will be automatically there will be automatically created the function with the prefix on rep. You can see it on the left side of your screen on rep current health. We can open it and here we need to provide our logic. So whether our health is less or equals zero, we need to add or update our blendable. We use first person camera reference and material instance dynamic of our post process with the weight of one. So when we are going to die, our post process will fire. Also, you can see that I have a custom event called death visualization. Here you can see the simple timeline and on the update I am setting the value the parameter dead in my material instance dynamic of this this one from 0 to 1 so the result is smoothly blend from the basic scene color to our post process Also, we can see that I have set simulate physics on our capsule component and change the center of mass of our capsule. So, when we are falling to the ground, the result of our direction will be actually random. For this, I have created Actually, I added two random float and range nodes. They are the same. The, the fields have the same values, but if we connect them in this way, the return value will be the same. So, to achieve different results, we need to have separate nodes. So when we have the random center of mass, there is unpredictable result where our capsule will fall. Actually, it works pretty much well and we need to uncheck use pawn control rotation on our camera so we can fake the rotation 
that we are actually that our head is rotated 90 degrees also after this I have a timer that actually stops simulating physics and disable our input we need this to stop making movements with our controls and we need to stop our capsule from shaking because it can have some unpredictable result after this you can actually create another timer and call the destroy of actor or actually you can just restart your level or add the custom widget that will paint all the screen with the black color for instance so it's up to you to decide how actually to finalize your death state but as you can see it's how I did and for me it works pretty much well also let's open our timeline by default it's Actually, it's empty. Let me show you. So, to create the proper curve, you need to add, it depends which type of curve we want, for our purposes. For the purpose of this tutorial is the flow track and make sure we have the proper lens. The lens of one means that our effect will last one second. Five means five seconds. So as you can see, also make sure that the starting point starts with the value of zero, which goes our clear scene color and smoothly rises up to the one it means full impact of our post process and take a look one more time Actually, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like the results that you achieve and leave a feedback. If you like, please subscribe. See you soon.